Why didn't that update? Zyl, hello everybody. We're here, we're live in Japan. It looks like I got everything working. First try? About time it's first try. I've done this enough times. Courtesy of Fruit Kartoflin's data spreadsheet. Back in Osaka. Yeah. Not at Osaka Castle at the moment. Some Discord rooms disappeared. Oh? Did they? On, on mine? How can I fix these, like, time overlays? Toggle them on and off. You lost your general chat. I don't know, I'm looking at it right here. Last message at 10.30 p.m. though, that was an hour and a half ago. Zero miles per, what? Why is that on? No, no, no. I've heard of Discord doing that sometimes where they're having server issues and, and channels just randomly disappear. Okay, closer. Holy shit, it's one Celsius. I'm gonna try and edit this on my phone. Uh, oh, because it needs to be aligned right. Okay, let me change the code. It is cold and for the first time in all of my entire life, I enjoy it. I knew I would. God damn, it's good to be cold again. <laughs> ah, it's like taking an ice bath, relaxing my sore, broken Muay Thai muscles. <laughs> ah, crispy air. I can actually breathe. It's cool being able to breathe. Breathing's good. Being able to drink water is also good. That's two perks. Two things you don't get in Bangkok very often. Weather, Bangkok, 72 Fahrenheit. It felt cold having dinner. Last night outside at 76 with the wind chill, man. Which is bizarre for that warm to feel cold. But it does when your body is totally adapted to that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of rivers around here. We can jump into it if you want.
probably gonna walk to Family Mart for a sec, though. I was in Dotonbori tonight, as we're very nearby it. My house here is very close, so. You can walk there in about 10 minutes, I guess. Crossing my fingers for this location overlay. Okay, let's see what happens. Mm. I need to go buy tissue though. There's no tissue in the house and I'm gonna have a runny nose for a while. Ooh, it's so crispy. It's actually not as busy though as I thought it would be, but maybe the busiest I've ever seen it here on a Monday night. It's not like overwhelming crowds by any means. Very just normal. Now it's not showing any location, is it? Uh, yeah, I caught up with some friends before I left. Not all of them. I ran out of time to see all of them. Normally I don't have all that many friends in one spot. But I did, did what I could. It was good. Like man on a bike just moaned at me, I think. One of these vending machines I found hot liquid magma curry to drink from the bottle. I'm going to do the hot curry vending challenge. It does sound a little bit weird. I think it is. I don't know if anyone actually bought... Calpis 500 milliliter big size. Oh my god. Ooh, dang. Dude, like last week it was 50 degrees here. How is it 32 now, just a week later? It got a lot colder really damn fast. Uh, there's crazy amounts of snow in the north. Like, people scooping six feet off their roofs. Silly stuff. Thank God it doesn't rain much here in the winter, though. It says Osakashi. Osakashi. Hmm, okay. Maybe I can make that better than just Osaka Shu. Oh, I love these sounds. We'll do place and country tags.
I haven't had Gudon yet. I did have some pretty good things. New menu items from, uh, what's that, Toriki place? I just posted on the Food Channel. They've got like a new menu this year or something. Toriki Zoku, that's it. Have I had any ramen yet? What? I don't eat ramen in Japan. I don't eat that in Thailand. There's some new ramen places. Some kind of like fancy ones with lights. So I assume we'll probably try those. There's more than there were before. Although, to be fair, half of them were like closed when I was here. So, some of the business is back already. Some of it's not. I hear a lot in the Shinsaibashi has not returned. The first thing I ate, oh dude, crazy story, as always, trying to get in. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm still trying to fix the overlays. Come on. Maybe it'll kick in. Otherwise, I'll just have to try it later. Okay. I'll leave it at that. This is Japan. I just can't get the overlay to say it right now. It does say it in the title, though. It's uh, midnight now, and actually I just realized what a better time zone it is for streaming for most people. It'll definitely uh, save everyone a couple hours. So, uh, it's a little bit better, but getting into the country is not better. It was not easy for me I sat just like on that TV show border crossing or whatever it's called in a immigration interrogation room for like two hours answering questions oh my god just never ended I honestly thought I wasn't gonna be able to get in I spent such a long time here during the pandemic um, yeah, it was a little bit weird. Obviously for confidentiality reasons, I can't say like exactly what happened and exactly what they asked and exactly what I said. But uh, it was definitely scary. And for the first hour, I thought I was gonna have to get on a return flight or something because of the way things were going. But I made it, and uh, I just hope I don't have a similar difficulty next time. That's what I'm most worried about. That would suck. So, goddammit. 
a little bit stressed about that. I was actually stressed all afternoon about that, so I didn't go outside or eat or stream or anything. I was pretty tired because I didn't actually get to Osaka till like one in the afternoon. And I was supposed to be here at like 9 a.m. But my airplane was delayed an hour and a half. And then immigration held me for a few more hours. So it was just delay after delay. So Torikizoku was the first meal. And it was fine. And wow, lemon sours are way better here. <laughs> But that makes sense. They probably should be. Yeah. Happened to you in South Korea? Really? Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I was trying to like research some explanation for the reason of holding people and I don't know. I kind of found some stuff from a uh, company recruiter in Tokyo. He's a foreigner with a wife and a kid here. But yeah, he's been living here for 24 years. And he was saying, uh, you know, although young people here might be more opening and integrating with Western culture, things are kind of going the opposite direction overall. They took a poll, 16,000 people from a whole bunch of different countries, and Japan had the highest amount of people at 35% saying they would never travel like outside again. So they're very much like afraid of the outside world after COVID and less people are traveling. So normally like 15 to 17 million Japanese people travel internationally in a year. And then um, recently it's only been like half a million to a million and a half. So it's not really like going up despite borders being open anywhere. So, I don't know. I guess, based on what other people are saying and what I could like feel from the vibes in the airport is they're, they're kind of afraid of just like letting people in. He used the words uh, isolation and conservatism, conservatism, conservatism. How uh, the culture here is still super, super conservative, slow to change, slow to react. And it's not being helped by the fact that people are isolating themselves and cutting themselves off from the rest of the world. So you might get more questions at the airport. I think I was the only uh, white Westerner getting off my plane. Actually, there were not many like foreigners at all. The other ones were like just Chinese, I guess. Probably a lot of foreigners overstaying their visas. Uh, well, that was me, right? Like we all had uh, special permission to stay longer during the uh, pandemic. So now coming back, it's like, okay, he was here longer than what we normally allow. Let's figure out what he's doing here kind of thing. So I got my 90 day, you know, tourist visa sticker as I always do and should. It just took longer to get it. 
and was not automatic. But I'm not going to be here that long, obviously. I got to go back to Bangkok since I'm a student there. Yeah, I'm only here for uh, three weeks this time. Actually, a little bit less. I wish I could do longer. They probably would have held me in the room and asked a lot more questions if it was that. Um, quite frankly, I, I feel like they just don't want people hanging out. So... Uh, Maybe look into some other options next time. Ooh, don't go. Man, because I got on a plane from Thailand? Yeah. Well, <laughs> from their perspective, my story seems probably ridiculously confusing and almost fake. Like, you would just never believe it. Because who the frick does this happen to? Like, leaves Taiwan on a student visa, can't return, gets stuck in Thailand, somehow knows martial arts and Muay Thai now, but is a systems engineer that works for Hewlett Packard. And now he's coming to Osaka to meet some friends? Like, what? Who is this guy? Is this real? Is this real life? You got it right, sir. That's exactly what happened. Okay. And you were here for almost two years before that. Yeah. Okay. It's a rare situation, to be fair. Uh, not many people going through the same thing. Ah, donkey. 24 hour vet? Wait. This is not a bit. Pet trimming school. 24 hour haircut? No way. Who needs to do that? They were like susgy. Very susgy. I hope we can be less susgy. The temperature is okay, as long as there's no wind. At night, it's a little bit colder, so that kind of sucks. Like, I would not want to stand outside right now just drinking for three hours. Like, no. You gotta get inside for sure already. Maybe hang out on the bridge for like 30 minutes, but you, you gotta go in, you can't just stay outside. How far from Shinjuku? How far from Shinjuku? Um, uh, a couple hundred dollars and eight hours far. Shinjuku's too rich for me, man. That's why I live in the Daikokucho. No one's free everyone at home enjoying their heated blankets. Yes. Yeah. You know, I still noticed there was like no tourists out by the bridge tonight. I thought, oh, they're probably just like a normal person would be eating or drinking, not standing in the cold. But there's a lot of locals out. I think I saw probably like mm, six tourists out of a couple hundred. I'm an anomaly 
Yeah, it's very confusing. Uh, it's just, you know, to be quite frank, not a uh, digital nomad friendly place to be. It would not be in the top rated ones. So, probably go to Family Mart and get a quick drink. I said my old place? No, I think someone's got it. But right away, coming here from Thailand, immediately notice everything's just like nicer, higher quality. And uh, the other one is being able to walk on the sidewalks. <laughs> Those are the major ones that stand out. Like, oh, cool, I can walk again. And we can actually walk to all these stores and restaurants and stuff. And uh, I'm not gonna get hit by scooters or trip on shit. So, dang. <laughs> it's oh oh yeah that and it's so much quieter even at dinner time like just one block away from Dotonbori damn it's so quiet everywhere hell my ears aren't ringing actually they are ringing but normally I can't tell they're ringing because the traffic is so loud <laughs> so Oh my god, my tinnitus. Holy shit. It looks too suburban for you? Uh, very suburban. Yeah, it's a mini city. It's definitely not a Bangkok. There's the couple spots downtown where it's pretty dense and really that's only like two blocks from here. Um, you can get lost in Bangkok. Not so much here unless you're like bar hunting. And Den Den Tan a bit. So I guess there's a little bit but it's, it's still a different vibe. Just different. It's like you never left. I forgot everything. I said Kok Kun Krok to the checkout guy when I was buying my hair gel. And he was like, what the fuck did you just say, man? Oh, arigato, I mean. Sorry. Bye. Crop. It's probably going to happen a lot tomorrow, too. I saw a couple new all-you-can-drink places. They were 2,000 yen. with a girl dressed as a sexy Santa dancing on a pedestal in front of the door to like try and lure customers in. Everyone was just taking video instead though. So, it seems like a great place. Arigato crap. Crap arigato. Yeah, you don't need to be fluent to be okay here. 
that's another thing the guy that's been here for 24 years and is working here with the staffing solutions said I think I've proved that by now living in so many different countries it's fine crap But, uh, yeah, it just doesn't have the, like, super high-rise condos and offices like Bangkok. I guess only uh, Tokyo got that. We can't see from here, though. There's not many places where you can actually see the skyline from the street. You have to get up higher. It's always blocked. I actually don't even know where we could go. There's, there's like nowhere except the observatory. Bicycle brakes are back. Oh, fantastic. Everyone's got electric scooters, scooter bikes too. I thought you couldn't ride those here. Or maybe they're still considered Steptronic or something. are watering my nose is running they sell family mart branded socks now in multiple colors it's kind of cool What's that voice? Chicky right now, is there? Oh my god! Oh my god! Hi, can I have a family chicky? Please. Uh, this one? Yep. Yep. Okay. Now we got the crap. Cocoon. Oh, my friend said today, you're not supposed to say credit cardo. You're just supposed to say cardo. But then I was wondering, how do you know it's not a debit card? How do you know it's not a gift card? What if it's an Amazon gift card? You gotta be more specific. How is he supposed to know? Cardo. Okay, I'll just say Cardo next time. <laughs> Fine. Think your Christmas present for this 
is no Muay Thai for three weeks. That's exactly right. Uh, you know, immigration here can think whatever they want to think, but this is legitimately a vacation for me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, my wrists are still messed up a little bit. My elbow, oh, terribly bruised back here because I haven't been doing any fist work the past month. So we're doing elbows. Where you spin back around and then you do an upwards elbow to hit the guy below his chin into his jaw so it's like a fake spin out half 180 elbow jab to the face and now my my elbow hurts ow <laughs> it's not supposed to hurt as much as punching someone in the face though so that's why we're doing it Um, you know, it's cool being a trained fighter now, I guess, but I don't feel like it's useful in Japan because, I don't know, I don't fear for my life as much, I guess. <laughs> Can I just sit on this? I normally use these as, uh, sitting platforms, at least we used to. Oh, my wrist. See, I can't. I can't push my body weight. Oh, actually, this thing's cold, but that's fine. This is my very first family chicky since I've been here. There's no bogans here. That's right. Do you ever wonder why, though? Like, how? Why? Is it because they didn't make it through the several hour interview process that I went through? Is that. Is that why? Why don't those kinds of people come here? You know? Maybe they like the massage girls and the daytime drinking, but you have all that here too. We're right next to the Soapland Red Light District prostitute area of Osaka. You can do that here, too, if you know what to do. But maybe it's a, a different level. I don't know. Maybe it's too classy for them. Classy prostitution. I don't know. That is some greasy chicken. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know why I got that. I just ate a ton of yakitori. It was amazing. Ugh. <laughs> Maybe the bogans go to Tokyo. I don't know. I don't think so, though. Did you see the picture of me walking out of the convenience store with like four different protein bars and stuff? I miss it. All the rows of amazing chip flavors. Man, there's just so much more. 
Oh, that was good. Oh. So, as you might imagine, I was pretty upset after the airport. I was not in any mood to like talk to anyone or stream. I had really hoped to like stream the train ride in with Hazu, but we were so late and running behind we had to hurry. So I've already seen two friends here. Hazu came and picked me up and then she went to work. What? What's wrong with my... Look at it. <laughs> the LEDs are so bright. Ow. I walked by Sukiya tonight. I didn't go in. A couple long lines for some food places over there. Which... You know, when I was here, you could just walk in, no one was sitting inside. So it's a little bit busier, but like I said, not overwhelming. It's not shoulder to shoulder, like parts of Bangkok can be. Did you, how do you have to wait while you're in immigration? Yeah, the whole time, dude. Oh, it was terrible. She had to wait like three hours for me. And I was texting her through the process too, because they were like, you know, interrogating me. So I was like, my friend Hazu's here. Oh, okay. What's her full name in Japanese? Like, oh shit, I don't know. <laughs> Hazu. So I'm just messaging her through this whole thing. Hazu, what's your name? The man needs your name and phone number. He's going to call you to see if we're actually friends. <clears throat> Her name's Hazuki chan. Her name's Hazuki sama. This street's pretty normal. Just apartments. Good to know what not to tell them when I want to get in quick. Yeah, I definitely got some tips for anyone that needs to know. Moving back? Not at the moment. There's no way to live here unless you want to be an English teacher. So maybe, maybe I'll teach English next year. Not knowing a friend's real name is definitely sus. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Especially after I watched that show, like, Border Control, where, like, the guy is visiting his girlfriend but doesn't know her name kind of thing. <laughs> uh, we met online, so I don't know her name. <laughs> um, sir, is she really your girlfriend? So when you mix the pan away, it was too distracting, but I had to quit. <clears throat> yeah. It sounds like it's too hard, too many hours. You're just too tired. You get like three hours left in the night and you don't want to spend it streaming because you need to eat and do your own shit. That's what it sounds like. I agree. But um, not knowing the name wasn't the most sus part. The most sus part is just like saying your background, like, hi, I'm a software engineer. I used to work for Hewlett Packard. I've been studying Chinese, but now I'm a Muay Thai fighter. I also make YouTube videos, and now I'm here to visit my friends. Wow, sir, you do a lot. Yes. I do. All of it's true. <clears throat> open your own store in BKK first, then open one in Japan. That could be could be done. That would be possible and definitely a dream goal. But it could happen before the end of this next year if like things went super well but I, at this point I don't really count on things going well but yeah you, you never know I could open up two stores that'd be possible that'd be uh, pretty crazy right having a visa having a work visa in Thailand and having a work visa in Japan like goddamn. Oh, goals. I also modded for Valheim. <laughs> yeah. Paying taxes to the U.S. Oh, that's why I think it's not even about taxes. It's uh, about isolation and conservatism because there's people here who have been on work visas who are paying their taxes who for unknown reasons can't get a work visa extension and have to leave. Like, it's just random and without reason. Based on the comments I read. Uh, I can share the, the dude's TikTok video if you really want to see. Not just one, but it's the guy that works in Tokyo. He explains a lot of this uh, working situation and culture stuff going on. More recent, you know, pre-pandemic, post-pandemic, but he's been here for 24 years, so he's got a good idea, I think, what's going on. I know. Woo! Okay. Uh, I gotta go to bed. It's coming up to 1 a.m. See you guys in the morning. Let's call this stream test a success. Whoa, I didn't know what I was looking at for a second. That was weird. <clears throat> Bright LED signs. The cold's not so bad now. My feet are, though.
Uh oh. <laughs> I don't have my boots. Don't have my boots. Oh no! Alright, I gotta go. Bye everyone. See you. 9 a.m. normal time stream. See you then. Bye. Matinee.